Hey guys, welcome back to my video today. I'm going to be trying to make this less than an 8 minute video. Actually, 8 minutes and 30 second video. Less than that. And if you didn't watch my last video where I tested which mouse was better, the Logitech mouse right here, or my regular mouse, the MSI, um, the Logitech got 3 points. Uh, for We did editing, which one is better for editing, and this thing felt so smooth with editing because the like 0.5 millisecond delay and uh, i got this one a point for editing gave it a point for aiming because it wanted aiming and the overall feel like how it like, how it felt in my hand how comfortable it was all that stuff this thing got another point i'm actually gonna give it five points because you're able to change the binds of this i know there's an app where you can change other stuff on this but this thing you're able to change way more you're able to change the LEDs. you're able to this thing has 25k uh dpi this thing only has like 8k so this thing, if, I don't think anyone's ever gonna play on twenty five thousand. If you do, you're kind of weird. No hate though, and you're able to change so many binds on this. So I'm giving it two more points for that for the binds and for the DPI. But anyways, besides that, we are gonna be. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get, how to change the LEDs, how to change the binds, get macros for this stuff. But yeah, so let's head into the video. Actually, right before that, forty six percent of you guys are subscribed. So hit the subscribe, like the video, and turn on the notifications so you never miss an upload. Okay, I try to do that fast. Let's head into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description for this. Pause the video right now to go on that link and then copy what I do. So uh, you want to download for Windows if you play on Windows or for Mac, whatever you play on. I'm playing Windows, so I download that. Pause the video again once you're downloading. Once you've downloaded that, uh, and I'll, again that link will be in the description. Once you download it, you'll uh, open up this and it should look just like this. If you don't have your uh, Logitech thing plugged in, it'll say connect to Logitech here. I'm also getting a Logitech headset in a couple days now. The reason why I'm wearing earbuds is because, you know, if you just go watch the last video, because uh, it will, again, uh, it will be on the top left, top right side of the screen. Go check that out if you haven't watched it. Watch it before this video, and uh, you'll see what happened to uh, my other headset. But yeah. I'm getting that Logitech one, so you can do stuff with that too. Whatever Logitech you you have, your I only have a mouse right now, so let's click on that. So you're here, sensitivity. You're able to move these. So I'm gonna move you really quick. Okay, so right here, right. Uh, so this is a right mouse button. I mean left mouse button and right mouse button. On the left mouse button, there's these buttons right next to it. These are DPS shifters. This front mouse button, if you look, uh, where it says 850 on the screen in the middle. That's my DPI. Do you see where it's underlined? There's an underlined thing right below it. Well, that's the DPI. If I click, if I click the forward button, it'll go up in DPI. So look at the 1400 now, 1400. There's no line underneath it. But as soon as I click this up, now that four, there's a line underneath it. So whatever the lines underneath, that's my DPI. Well, this is how you go up in DPI to make your sensitivity faster and lower. But maybe like, oh, I want to go to 100 DPI. If you play on that, you could just slide this, go to 100 DPI, and then you're playing on 100 DPI. Or um, I don't play on uh 800 or any of these. I play on like 3,000 something. You can change it to 3,000 something. But yeah, that's that. Um, and also I would have this on a thousand. I gotta bring my DPI down. I would put this on a thousand because if it's on here, it's just like how. F so you have a sensor in every single mouse. Whatever the mouse senses, it sends to your computer. Well, you want it to be as smooth as possible. For like if you're playing games, so I put that on a thousand. Now we're gonna be doing assignments. So if you want your desktop, which this is your desktop, just straight up no games, no games on your desktop, you could put different commands. Like this is my primary click, my secondary click, middle, uh, the scroll, scroll, all that stuff, guy, all that stuff is there. But if you're in a game and you want a certain thing, let's go on Fortnite. So uh, if you're doing, uh, like, maybe I don't want, on. I'm just gonna okay. So there's commands where you're able to do curl w all that stuff. I'm able to just drag it and put it on whatever I want. So that means if I'm writing a paragraph, I could just put curl w, which is close cut. Let's do copy curl c. I could put that right here. So that means if I want to copy something, I just tap that and it'll copy right away. And there's keys where I could put number one on right here. And if I were to go on Google, click that, it type number one. Actions. Uh, that's if you want to like different stuff so I can assign that one uh, right here so save buffer toggle stream you're able to put them that's I could just do that with my keybinds already 
There's macros, I'll tell you that in a second. There's system, getting up there already in the time. System, so primary click, D1. Maybe I don't, maybe I want my primary click to be this right here, my DPI up. I could just put it like that, but I don't want that, so I'm gonna put primary click there. Two primary clicks, I gotta put my DPI up there again. So that's what you're able to do, and if you wanna change it for a certain game, I will show you that in a second. So now we're gonna do macros. You would not want macros. If you're playing a game, you want to do it in the game, you would not want macros on your desktop. So you're gonna, I'm going to go to Fortnite because I want an editing macro for Fortnite. I wouldn't want it for my desktop, but for Fortnite. So I'll go here on Fortnite, then I create a macro. I'm going to make it edit. It's right there. I'm going to go no repeat. And you can do different stuff. So pretty much no repeat means once you click it, it doesn't repeat. It just does it once and then stops. And then you have to click it again for it to do it again. If you want it on this... So, uh, if you want it on repeat while holding, you just hold it and repeat. Toggle, you just toggle it and then it'll keep doing it continuously. Sequence, uh, you just press it pretty much and then it'll play the macro and then holding section. I really don't understand that a lot, but no repeat is what I'm doing. So, my edit bind is F. So, I go here. Uh, there's, uh, I'm going to show you. So, there's keystrokes, texture emojis, actions launch application so that means if i tap a certain bump button it'll launch a certain application like if i tap f it'll open up fortnite there's delay it changes a whole bunch of stuff you guys can mess with that but i'm gonna do this so my edit button of fortnite is f and then click down and cl click up and it does it i'm gonna click stop recording save and then make sure i'm on fortnite i'm gonna put it as my dpi shift right here i'm gonna drag this put it right here now, if I go and open up Fortnite, now if I click this button, look, I'm clicking this side button, that side that's on. But if I click it, it just edits, look, it's just macro. So I'm going to do connect. But yeah, there's that. Um, that's macros. You could do different stuff, like make different stuff happen. And you guys are smart enough to do that. So I am going to actually get of that macro i'm gonna go and also i don't know why but whenever you go back onto this tab it brings it to desktop so go back on fortnite i'm gonna delete that so it brings it back to dpi shifts so now i'm gonna show you what dpi shifts does so if i'm on fortnite right here see how i have 400 right enabled so my normal dpi is 800 that's what i like so right now i'm on 800 dpi but when i click my dpi shift it goes to the lowest dpi that means this is my DPI right now. Look at my mouse. And then as soon as I click it, look, click, then look at this, look how much slower it is. So 800 DPI, 400 DPI. So th that's if you want to do like sniping. If you do sniping in a certain game. If you snipe, well, I don't want it like that. Gotta go back to Fortnite. So I'm not gonna have it like that. I'm just gonna. Else. Eight hundred. Okay. Well, I don't need that sniping thing. Now we're gonna do LEDs. Primary is like the. This is the logo right here. The logo is this. Don't even mind the logo. Any other lights? Where anywhere else where they shine? Like right here. Let's see where the blue light is. The red light now. That's what it is. So the rate of how fast it goes. Like if I want the color to go super slow, like it changes color slow, then I do that. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a nine minute thirty second video. I'm sorry guys. I thought I was gonna do eight minutes, but. Okay, well, if I want it to change super fast, look how much faster it's changing right here now. So that's the speed of change. I'm going to have it at like 4,000. That's what I like it at. I like it at 100% brightness. Cycle, you can do different things like where it's fixed. Breathing, like where it blinks kind of. Like a light turning on and off. Logo, I turned a bit lower. And yeah, so there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can mess with there. You can do it for different things like keyboards and stuff like that. I'm going to turn it back on. I just do desktop. I'm going to close out of this. But yes, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description again for this. If you didn't go and do it already. I don't know why you guys wouldn't have. And I'm going to be leaving a... Just, okay, I'm not even going to say that. But this is the end of the video now. I'm ending it. So please subscribe to me. It really helps. I'm going to put my face cam back up. It would really, really help. Because we're almost... Uh, we're literally one sub away from 300. Then I get egged. As you guys see that, all you gotta do is just tap the subscribe button and hit the notification so you never miss an upload like this. And that's really all I gotta say. 
click the video on the screen right now if you want to see i know it says fortnite in the background but click the video on the screen if you want to see the video from where i tested which mouse was better and again this thing got five points yeah go check that out i'll see you guys in another video